everybody, Jason here of Ghostbusters News, and today I'm back here to give you another heavy hand dose of Ghostbusters nostalgia. You see, last month here on the Ghostbusters News YouTube channel, we took a look at this, this flexi-disc vinyl Ghostbusters record. And this was a record that was available in select cereal boxes way back in 1989. It was used as a promotional tool to advertise Ghostbusters 2, and it gave Ghostbuster fans a chance to meet a real Ghostbuster. If you liked Ghostbusters the movie, you'll love the real thing. You could win a trip to the real Ghostbusters headquarters, bring a friend, and meet a real Ghostbuster. Ghostbusters! Look for the record in specially marked boxes of Ghostbusters Cookie Crisp and Diner Sewers. Now before this video goes any further, I have got to send a huge thank you and a shout out to Money Mike of Money Mike Midwest Retro Gaming right here on YouTube. He hooked me up with the record that we took a look at last month, as well what we have to show you today in this video. Now if you've not done so already, be sure to subscribe to Money Mike here on YouTube. He's obviously a Ghostbuster fan as well, and he posts some pretty cool stuff, like this build of an Ecto containment unit. Once again, be sure to give him a follow. We have his YouTube channel down below in the description. Now, as I made mention in that last video, there were two different records made available. One with white printing and another with yellow. Now you may be wondering, aside from the color, is there any difference between the two vinyls? Well, yes, there actually is. You see, to be entered to win that contest and meet a real Ghostbuster, you had to answer three different skill testing questions. And the questions, they were found on these flexi discs. And the ones that were on the white disc compared to the yellow disc, they're different. So with that being said, that brings us to today, some 30 plus years later. Uh, we're gonna give a listen to this flexi disc vinyl from 1989. So let's go ahead and, well, yeah, just give it a listen. Welcome to the new Ghostbusters movie mystery. In just a moment, you'll get a chance to meet Egon Spengler, the brave, courageous hero from the Ghostbusters movies. Now, kids, answer the three questions that Egon will ask you later on this record, and you could be eligible to win one of the two grand prizes in the new Ghostbusters movie mystery sweepstakes. And right now, I take great pride in introducing Egon Spengler. Hello, Ghostbusters fans. Have you been looking out for ghosts lately? Great. Now you have a chance to be an honorary member of the Ghostbusters team. You can win a trip to Hollywood for you and your family and meet me, Dr. Egon Spengler. How lucky can you get? <laughs> well, it could be worse. You could be meeting Slimer. Now, here's a tip. Clues to the mystery questions are contained in the new Ghostbusters movie. If you haven't seen it yet, make plans to go right away. It's great. You've never seen ghosts like the ones in this movie. Everyone thinks the Ghostbusters are beaten, but you know better, don't you? We're back, and we're better than ever, especially me, the brilliant Dr. Egon Spengler, with twice the know-how and twice the particle power. <laughs> now remember, everyone, if there's something wrong in your neighborhood, who are you going to call? Now, Egon will ask you some fun questions about the new Ghostbusters movie. Question number one. In what city does the new Ghostbusters movie take place? Number two. What lurks beneath the city and is the Ghostbusters' biggest bust? And question number three, what must people do to ward off this evil? Okay, is everybody ready to enter the sweepstakes? Mail a 3 by 5 card with your answers, your name, age, and address, including zip code, and your telephone number to the new Ghostbusters Movie Mystery Sweepstakes, P.O. Box 4029, Beverly Hills, California, 90213-4029. The more you enter, the more chances you have to win. Only one entry per envelope, please. See details and official rules on specially marked boxes of new Ghostbusters, Cookie Crisp, and Dinosaurs brand cereals. There are two versions of the record, so collect them both. See you at the movies, kids. So yeah, very close to that record we listened to like a month ago, but once again, the only real change was the questions asked. And as I mentioned in that last video, I always love just hearing Maurice LaMarche play Egon Spangler. I really hope a project comes up soon where he gets to return to that role. Oh, and a quick FYI, the announcer, the host of that uh, that little audio you just heard, uh, we're pretty sure that is Rob Paulson. You know, the voice actor from Pinky and the Brain. I mean, Rob Paulson, he's done tons of stuff, but I bring up Pinky and the Brain because he played Pinky and Maurice LaMarche, he played Brain. So that record is kind of like a weird precursor to Pinky and the Brain. So once again, I want to send a huge thank you out to Money Mike from Money Mike Midwest Retro Gaming right here on YouTube for making today's video possible. 
As I've already said, if you want to check out his YouTube channel, we got a link down below in the description. Now that is all I've got for you here right now. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, you know we have a Patreon page. A link to that can be found down below in the description. And I'll see everybody right back here next time.